So my topic is glomerulonephritis, and by just looking at the name, we can already tell that this will be inflammation of the glomerulus and the nephron. What is GN? GN is when the renal cortical tissue of the kidney becomes inflamed. This causes the filtering process to be altered, allowing particles that would normally be reabsorbed like blood and proteins out into the urine and mixturated. Also due to the inability to filtrate, electrolytes and nitrogenous waste build up in the bloodstream. The inflammation can be caused by infection, genetics, or other initial diseases. GN is characterized and diagnosed by findings which may be hematuria, edema, proteinuria, and hypertension. There are two types of GN, acute and chronic. The acute is described as coming on suddenly. Chronic comes gradually over time. Both have the same mortality rate. What type of tissues are affected and how? The tissue affected is the renal cortical tissue and the renal cortex. The glomeruli of the renal cortical tissue becomes inflamed. This can be caused by a number of different conditions being infections, drugs toxic to the kidneys, diabetes or lupus, or a number of other diseases or viral infections. Many conditions can cause inflammation to the glomeruli, which then in turn causes GN. Symptoms of GN Hematuria or blood in the urine would cause a pink or cola color, foamy urine due to excess protein or proteinuria, hypertension, and uh, edema, swelling of the face, hands, feet, or abdomen. So possible causes of GN. Well, once again, there's two kinds of GN. So acute GN is caused by infections like strep throat, lupus, or good pasture syndrome which is actually an autoimmune disorder in which where your antigens attack your kidneys and your lungs. Also, Wagner's disease, which is inflammation of blood vessels. Chronic GN can be brought on by genetic factors, uh, family history of cancer, or exposure to hydrocarbon solvents. In the case someone doesn't know who what hydrocarbon solvents are, that's like ethanol, gasoline, and kerosene solvents. Prevention and treatment of GN. There are not many ways in preventing GN, but there are a number of ways in treating it. That'd be to change your diet, stop smoking, mitigate consumption of alcohol, treat hypertension. Immunosuppressants may be given in the case of autoimmune disorders like good pasture syndrome, uh, plasma exchange. In the event that the kidney fails, a kidney dialysis or kidney transplant will have to be done. On average, if left untreated, 80% of people with GN will have kidney failure within six months. People under 60 have a higher probability of avoiding kidney failure if it's treated.